Joining us now from Cibola, Texas, Patrick and Robin Henshaw. Their family has been hit hard by this swine flu. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So who all in your household has it, Robin? Uh, my husband and my son Hayden and my daughter Hannah. So you have three of you in the house who have got it. Let me ask you, uh, Patrick, What it, does this feel any different from any other flu you've ever had? No, sir. No, just the same body aches. Uh, just a cruddy feeling. Just a cruddy. Down. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And Robin, how have your kids responded to this? Well, they're doing much better now. They're just a little tired and sleeping in today. Yeah. But my son had had a fever and body aches. He said his skin hurt. Just the classic flu symptoms. Huh, interesting. Are you worried because this has been deadly in Mexico? It has thus far not had, you know, horrible after effects in the United States. Are you concerned? Well, at first we were until we talked with the, the state health department and they kind of assured us that this is a flu and, you know, I think the strain that they had in Mexico was maybe a little different than ours. I'm not sure. This may be a little weaker. Mm. We're just, we're, we're really, really concerned. But I think for us, it's about to pass. Right. Yeah. We're and just thankful that everybody took such a such a uh, proactive approach here right. uh, to try and nip it in the bud first. And what have local authorities told you? Do you need to stay in the house? Have they quarantined your house or anything? They didn't quarantine us. They asked us to please stay in and don't let anybody come in and us not to go out. Right. Uh, just so that we can just stop the spread of this. Right. If, and the if reason they had you not have masks on message. this morning is because we have our crew inside your house and that you're wearing the mask as a courtesy to them so it doesn't spread. Just want people to know. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, there you go. Well, good yeah. luck. Take care. Thanks very much. This is not like a scene out of a, a science fiction movie where they've wrapped the uh, house in, in plastic or something. Right. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. And our doctor, uh, Jennifer Ashton, is here to help us uh, figure out a little bit more about this. And that's my question. So it's been deadly in Mexico, thus far not deadly in the United States. Do we know a reason for that? Unclear, Harry. First of all, there might not have been enough cases here in the U.S. yet mm. to reach that point, number one. Number two, there might be other factors at play. So the health of the people who have be become ill and subsequently died in Mexico might be different than the health of our patients. We're looking at it all very closely. We know that if, even if we got a flu shot this year, we're not necessarily protected. And they were saying that the symptoms are very similar to a regular flu. So my question is, at what point should I go to the doctor? Correct. They are the same symptoms, Maggie. So we just heard you know, high fever, body aches, cough, runny nose. If you have those symptoms for 24 to 40 hours and you are getting worse and not better, or you have an underlying medical condition that might put you at higher risk of the complications of influenza, you should see your doctor. Otherwise, supportive care, stay home and let time pass. Demand that they treat for this? Test they will. This, they will me? test for it, um, but you don't want. We don't want to send too many people too quickly for just a regular viral syndrome to get tested because that will overwhelm. Is the there system. any way, way to know the difference? Oh, I'm sitting out there today, and all of a sudden I don't feel well. I, should I immediately panic? No. And think I've got swine flu, Absolutely. or do I just have? The flu. Absolutely not. I mean, you really need to give this time. Mm -hmm. Most of the cases here, again, have been mild, and these viral syndromes do tend to be self-limited, so really not panic at All this right. point. All right, doctor, as we thank you, we want to just show for everybody out there the states, once again, that have been uh, affected so far by the swine flu, and let you know that Dr. Ashton will be back in our next half hour. A lot more to talk about. We're going to be keeping you up to date today. Gary? I have a feeling that list is likely to grow, right? Yeah, All right unfortunately. All right.